Hi there and welcome back to the PilotAware YouTube channel. This video introduces PilotAware Vector and shows you how you can use it to get the most out of your electronic conspicuity, no matter what electronic conspicuity device you use. Vector is freely available from PilotAware Limited and can be used as many times as necessary to improve the fidelity of your installation. Using Vector will show that the main issue encountered in an electronic conspicuity installation is attenuation due to airframe obscuration. If you're not clear on what this is, please view our earlier video on obscuration, which is available on YouTube. Firstly, we need to understand some fundamental truths. Vector uses the Pilot Aware Atom Grid Network to collect data from your aircraft as you fly around the United Kingdom and parts of mainland Europe. There are over 200 Atom stations currently installed and there will be 300 stations installed by the end of 2021. If you want to know more about the Atom Grid Network, please visit the YouTube videos which describe it in greater detail. Vector is provided by Pilot Aware so that everyone can get the most out of their chosen EC device or devices and contribute to greater interoperability. The Atom Grid is designed to detect all electronic conspicuity devices that are in line of sight range. The range of detection will be a minimum of 50 kilometers in the absence of airframe and topical obscuration or atmospheric attenuation. That's basically rain. The electronic conspicuity devices detected are Pilot Aware, FLAM, ADSB from transponders and ADSB from CAP 1391 devices. The range that individual devices will be detected depends on their design specification and the fidelity of their installation. Permanently installed devices with remote antennas tend to suffer less from airframe obscuration than portable carry-on devices. Please check the maximum operating range of your device with the supplier. This will then be the benchmark against which you can check its performance in range. All devices should transmit isotropically, that is, in all directions in free space. The black shaded sections of this diagram show the coverage of the UK Atom Grid Network. The majority of the well used UK airspace is covered, but there are areas that are sparsely represented. These include Devon and Cornwall, Wales, Cumbria and Northumberland, and the borders and highlands of Scotland. If you want to help improve this and get an Atom station installed in your area, please send an email to Atom at pilotaware.com. This map of the South Midland Counties is typical of the Atom Grid coverage in areas that are well supported. When flying here your electronic conspicuity will be detected by most of the sites shown. Simply fly around as you normally would and the Atom stations will pick up enough directional data for Vector to be able to plot the initial diagrams for you. The more you fly the more data is collected, so the more detailed will be the results. If you don't have time for a long flight, fly a couple of lazy orbits in each direction. This short flight will provide enough data to plot the shape of the obscuration pattern and provide an initial indication of the range. So there is no need to fly any difficult or elaborate patterns. We've done all the hard work for you. Just have fun. It's not a chore. So after the initial flight, visit the Pilot Aware website and navigate to the Vector page. Here you'll see a sample of a Vector Polar Diagram. This is a live page so you can input your individual aircraft information. Firstly, insert the individual ICAO code for your aircraft. If you don't know this, please visit the Civil Aviation Authority website, GINFO, and insert your aircraft registration and this will provide you with the unique ICAO code. Use the six digit hex version. It is very important that this ICAO code is inserted in all electronic conspicuity devices that you have installed in your aircraft. This is so that your electronic conspicuity devices will ignore your aircraft and not give you false reports of an impending mid-air collision. Secondly, insert the electronic conspicuity technology that you want to test. Please note that if you choose all, this will overlay all devices on top of each other 
and will show a false reading for the individual types. Thirdly, choose the diagram required, either a polar diagram or a quadrant matrix bar chart. Next, open the calendar on the right hand side. This will default to all flights within the last month or so. Alternatively, you can choose individual flights to check improvements or otherwise as you move your carry-on equipment within the cockpit. Finally, tap Go. The software will now interrogate the PilotAware database for the chosen dates and immediately return with the results of the search. If nothing comes back, then nothing has been recorded against the ICAO code you have entered. Please check that you have entered this correctly and have the same code entered in all of your electronic conspicuity devices. You can use PilotAware Vector whenever and as often as you like. Now you have your individual diagrams, here's how to interpret them. This slide shows a polar diagram built up from a full set of data collected over 15 flights. This is a polar diagram from a carry-on pilot aware unit positioned on the dashboard. This shows a 50 kilometers range in most forward directions with little forwards obscuration. However, the obscuration to the rear is very apparent. This poor rearwards performance can easily be improved by using external antennas. The more flights you do, the greater will be the granularity of the diagram. However, you don't need to do this many flights before you can get an idea of how well your electronic conspicuity is doing. For example, after just one flight, the obscuration pattern is taking shape. After just three flights, the obscuration pattern is getting clearer. And then, when analysing the full 15 flights, the obscuration pattern is very clear. The more flights flown, the better is the diagram. The same data can be used to determine the range. Each vector shows the direction and distance of a receiving ground station. The variance in the range through 360 degrees is due to, firstly, the attenuation and obscuration caused by the airframe and the occupants. Secondly, the distance to the receiving atom station at that point in time. Here we can see that the unobscured pilot aware range of 50 kilometers is not an over exaggeration. After one flight, the furthest station that detected the pilot aware unit was about 54 kilometers. After three flights in random directions, the furthest atom station is about 70 kilometers. After the full 15 flights in random directions, the furthest atom station is about 90 kilometers away. Bearing in mind that a site receiving at 50 km distance will still have line of sight, so will probably be one that is sighted above a thousand feet or on a very flat part of the country such as East Anglia. However, it can be clearly seen that 50 km is readily achievable. The second chart that is available is the Quadrant Matrix Bar Chart. This bar chart uses the same data as the Polar Diagram and shows the number of electronic conspicuity received by all atom stations. These are plotted against distance and the 90 degree quadrant in which they were detected. An amount of data captured in each quadrant assists in determining both the obscuration and the attenuation. This diagram shows both obscuration and attenuation to the rear. Pilot Aware Vector provides another example of the power, flexibility and the need for an integrated ground network for future innovation and situational awareness. However, there are some technical factors that need to be understood when using Pilot Aware Vector and interpreting the data for each individual electronic conspicuity device. For example, the distance and the bearing at which each transmission is detected is achieved using air-to-ground transmissions. The pilot aware transceiver antennas, both at the atom station and the onboard pilot aware equipment, are matched. This means that the ranges shown for pilot aware devices are a true representation. For the other technologies, the atom ground stations use higher gain, receive only antennas to amplify the received signals. This is traditionally done to track gliders equipped with FLAM over long distances for search and rescue purposes. Also, the higher gain 1090 MHz antennas are used to track high-flying commercial 
and military aircraft as far as possible. This is done for vanity and competition reasons. The result of this is that the air-to-ground range results for electronic conspicuity, other than pilot aware, will be flattered and should not be regarded as absolute. Secondly, air-to-air -air ranges for electronic conspicuity, other than pilot aware, cannot be directly correlated due to the imbalance in the antenna gains used. True air-to-air -air ranges will probably be less than those reported by Vector and can only be determined by consulting the manufacturer's operating instructions and anecdotal evidence. However, Pilot Aware Vector remains a unique and ideal tool to determine the best position for your installation, determined by iterative reposition and check. Of course, it takes two to tango. Your optimum installation is only half of the picture. Two well-installed units, as shown here, will give a good performance. Mediocre results will be achieved if one of the aircraft's installation is suboptimal, and very poor or unacceptable results will be achieved if both aircraft have poor installations as shown here. So the takeaway message from this video should be, electronic conspicuity is a valid aid to situational awareness. Devices will only meet their optimal performance when installed properly, and the main culprit to reduce efficiency is obscuration. However, remote internal or external antennas will significantly improve performance if they can be fitted. And finally, use Vector as much as you want. Also, encourage others to get the best out of their devices by using PilotAware Vector. Please provide feedback via the PilotAware forum so that others can benefit from your success in repositioning. Pilot Aware will continue to provide further advances in electronic conspicuity and in flight innovation and safety over the next year. In the meantime, have fun, fly defensively and fly safely.